Next up, where are they now? Ron Shelton. It's just off the top of your head. He had no. Ron has no idea this is still coming. Where is Billy Hoyle today? Do you think, Ron Shelton? It's like we're workshopping. We're in the no, writers' room. No, right Billy's, now. Billy's sad. I think. I think Billy never escapes. You know, he's working. You know, the best he can do is work for Caltrans with an orange vest leaning on a broom by the side of the road. That would be good for Billy. That's where Billy Hoyle is today. That would be the best. But probably he's working in a rec center somewhere, you know, sweeping the floor and trying to play horse games with young kids. I just, I don't think, at least in my, I think he was doomed. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Does that bum you out, Chris? Kind of. I mean... You could kind of see that by the end of the movie that Billy is just kind of trapped in a world that by his own doing he can't get out of. And uh, it it does make sense, even though you want what's best for him because he's a very likable guy. I'm going to go off the road here. How'd you get Marcus Johnson for that movie? How'd you get him? Marcus auditioned, and I loved him from when he was a great high school player at Crenshaw High to UCLA. He auditioned. He read for the role? Yeah. Marcus Johnson? Yeah. And did you know he was coming in like Marcus, the Marcus Johnson was coming in to read for the role? Well, I saw who was coming in and I said, this is, this is Marcus Johnson. Was he the only NBA player that came in to read for that role? Do you remember? Yeah. Recall? Okay. Yeah. But he was, um, Marcus, a great guy, by the way, really, yeah. really great guy. And people forget what a dominant player he was till he hurt his neck. He got hit in a, in a car accident, yeah. but yeah. he was like all pro his first six or seven years and the wooden award winner. I mean, he was very believable in this role. Well, he was going to go get his gun. Great, great. That's for sure. Go to the, go, don't go to the glove box. <laughs> where uh, is, uh, and then the, the next one, where is Gloria Clementi today? Where do you think Gloria is oh, today? Oh, she's gigantic. She's gigantic. Because she is made for this world of uh, social media and, you know, I mean, she would be, all these women and men who have giant careers and you don't know what they do. Well, she actually does stuff. So I, <laughs> She would she would be dwarfing Kar- the Kardashians today. right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she'd be the all time Jeopardy champ right now. Ken yeah. Jennings, like she'd, she'd be like Ken, Ken Jennings. Jennings. Would she be like? She... I doubt that. I doubt. Okay. <laughs> she'd be she guest hosting. Uh, she would have leveraged her appearance. No doubt about that. <laughs>